Okay, so then moving on to our next learning objective of imputing missing markers using the a.mat command. So our blood mix solve does not allow for missing markers. So NA values um, are not allowed and if NA values are in the matrix, um, an, error, an error message will come up. So the um, imputed value for my code is the population mean for that marker. And this is useful for SNP data since the level of missing data is pretty low. In the sample file, we had 164 markers that were NA out of 1,178 individuals that all had um, out of 96 individuals. So this is only 0.14% um, missing. So it's a very low amount of missing markers. So imputation uh, can be done without um, any adverse effects. And this command also calculates the additive relationship matrix, but we won't be using that today in the code. So for the impute code, the um, first is the markers, and this is the matrix that needs to be imputed. And the max dot missing I have set to 0.5. So this is the maximum proportion of missing data that is allowed. So if more than 50% of the markers are missing data, then the markers are not imputed, and these markers should then be removed. This is a good quality control, since you're removing markers that most likely were just not genotyped correctly and really aren't helpful to the analysis. And the impute method is the mean, since we're imputing the population mean for that marker. And I have return.impute equal to true, so since I want to see the printout of the imputed results. So uh, just to, just in the code to rename some of the matrix matrices, um, I renamed the marker matrix to the imputed marker matrix, just for later on for the mix.solve. And the outputs from the imputed um, command, the imputed um, returns the imputed marker matrix, while the uh, dollar sign A returns the additive relationship matrix. And here's a screenshot of the printout of the imputed marker matrix. So you can see in this red box at the top, this is the imputed marker value. This marker used to be an A, but after imputation, the population mean was 0.8. And with the marker uh, V169, the marker values were left an A since more than 50% of the data was missing for this marker. So this uh, entire column needs to be removed since this marker is not helpful to our analysis. So in order to remove markers that had more than 50% missing data, there were two columns that need to be removed that had NA after the imputation. And this was column 169 and column 562. And just to remove them, it's just the minus um, C and then the column names that need to be removed. And the new dimensions you can see show two less columns. So these are the two markers that have been removed. And well, then I then renamed this matrix again, markers impute two. And this is the marker matrix that we will be using for our analysis. Okay, so going on to our next learning objective to define the training and validation populations. <clears throat> 